school's out for the day, and some of the gang is headed off to old Mr. Johnson's vacant lot to throw the ball around. Not today, fellas, Billy tells them. I've got a homework assignment. Good job, Billy. With career day coming up, Billy's head is spinning with possibilities. What kind of man will he become? Look, Billy. It's sister. Billy sometimes wishes he had things as easy as her. All she has to worry about is being pretty. And social. And making a good wife someday. Come now, Billy. You know better than to compare yourself to a girl. Of course you'll have to work harder. This is the way things are. Because this is the way things should be. Now, more than ever, Billy's determined to do a good job. Dad's home. Billy's dad is a fudge packer. At the local candy factory. Father needs to relax after a long and draining day. Mother tries her best to help him loosen up. Ah uh, ah! Uh, uh. Dad likes to do his own tea bagging. What's that? A knock at the back door. Yes, father is always willing to accept visitors through his back door. But mother has to remind him his work is done for the day. She'll take this one. It's Betty Henderson, the grocer's wife. She's arrived with the finishing touches for dinner. She always knows just what mother needs. Betty is very independent for a woman, but it's okay because her husband isn't at home. While he serves his country overseas, Betty is minding the store, delivering her goods to all the wives in the neighborhood. Nutritious things like eggs and avocados. Dinner's almost ready, and everyone helps out. Sister sets the table. Billy pours the milk, and while mother checks the bird, Betty offers some helpful hints on using the turkey baster. Oh, be careful, Billy! You'll spill on yourself before dinner. Say, don't you have homework to do? Mother likes Betty. And is always open to a helping hand. Oh, thank you, says mother. Mother's saving up green stamps to get sister some jewelry for her birthday. Boy, will sister be surprised! Why she's asked just about every boy in town to give her a pearl necklace. Betty appreciates mother's interest in stamp licking and decides to throw in a little extra, knowing how close mother is to her final goal. Betty is good at her job. She has a knack for fulfilling the needs of each and every housewife on the block. And now it's time to enjoy a healthy supper. No matter how long and hard a day Dad's had fudge packing, he's never too tired to toss the salad. Dinner time is family time—a chance to share the events of your day. I have to write an essay for career day at school. Why, Billy, that's an important assignment. What do you suppose you'll write about? Golly, I don't know. When I grow up, I'm not sure if I want to be a policeman or a cowboy. Huh. Well, when I was your age, I was in exactly the same boat—policeman or cowboy, maybe a construction worker or even an Indian. It wasn't until I was a few years older that I knew fudge packing was right for me. Gee, Dad, 
I guess I never really knew what you did at work. Well, Father Billy, mentions that he rises at the crack of dawn. He comes early five days a week to the Creamy Pleasures Candy Factory. Where, as a head supervisor, Father has several men under him and likes to stay on top of things. He knows there will be less friction if his men work together as a well-oiled machine. Father is a courteous boss. He knows Mr. Stevens appreciates the gesture of having his stool pushed in. But he also understands that it's important to maintain his position and he must be a little rigid. Make sure that's not dirty, Sanchez. Yes, Father keeps a tight grip on things and in the end is satisfied each and every day. And so, young Billy, that is my day. Gee, Dad, do you think fudge packing is for me? Too soon to tell, Billy. Too soon to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Look for these other modern knowledge educational titles. Thalidomide, Wonder Drug of the Future. Why do we have colored people? And there's no room for that kind of thinking in a free country. Thank you.